Trivially, the answer is yes. The real discussion lies in finding out what actually motivates us to gym on a long-term sustainable basis. And with that, let's begin. Suppose you find gymming fun and or rewarding. Those two reasons basically cover the entire discussion on the reasons of why we should gym or why we want to gym. And that's great. But maybe you are special, you are unique, you have you find gymming a familiar or natural thing or it's always been a part of your life. You don't have to take additional steps or effort in order to gym. That's great. The rest of us aren't so lucky. We have to acquire it as a hobby. We need to go out of our way to gym. And we, have, we might have to remind ourselves of our specific goals in gymming or maybe we have to imbue it with social inter interaction in order for us to keep it as a routine. Or maybe we convince ourselves in other ways. That brings us to the uncommon reasons why we might gym. The, I'm pushing it here, but you might gym because you're pragmatic. You want to maximize your lifespan. You want to reduce the, your future healthcare bills. Therefore, you gym. With that out of the way, let's consider the four specific arguments that explores what I've just listed right there in that. In our first argument, let's consider the government. They tell us or command us or persuade us to gym. And it's in the interest of both the government and us to gym. Because if everyone is healthy, there is less need to spend so much on healthcare and that's just beneficial for all of us. In the disgusting way, if everyone is healthy, we are more productive as a society or econ economy and that's just and prosperity in the economical sense is beneficial to all of us. More realistically or relevantly, if everyone is healthy, we're more resilient to global events such as mm, pandemics. But as much as this argument is valid, it's not exactly successful because no one in their right mind will look at this and say, yes, I will gym. Because success in this case is, we don't care about the motivation themselves. We only care that we are motivated, therefore we gym. And we consider that successful and everything else is just not successful. Therefore, this argument isn't successful because, you know, no one is convinced. With that, let's look at the second argument. What if you were motivated by your existential fears? What if you are not entirely comfortable with the fact that life is finite or your health, or the fact that your health is fleeting and you gym because of that? Is that a healthy mindset? And how long can you last holding on to these notions and values? This might be successful, but it is problematically successful. So I will consider this mm, not quite successful. Let's look at another not quite successful argument as our third argument, in which we say because gymming is good, we should do it. That is the entire argument. Of course, no, barely anyone is convinced by this. So we can just set this aside and jump right into the fourth and real argument or the real reason why everyone gyms. As long as you have the desire to gym, you will do it. As long as you somehow acquire or cultivate the correct quote unquote desires, you will do whatever it is you want to do. You will achieve your goals. And in this discussion of gymming, this is the case. But if I were to leave it there, I would be making a huge mistake because I am not exploring that final argument fully. If I can't gym, the question should I gym no longer applies to me. That is because gymming is expensive by nature. It takes time, energy, money, and a baseline health to gym. If you're too sick to gym, you can't gym, therefore you shouldn't gym. If you don't have the money to gym, you cannot gym, therefore you shouldn't gym. Even if you have the money and health, if you don't have access to a gym, a nearby gym or you know anything of that sort, you just can't gym because you don't have the ability to gym. And 
if you don't have the proper nutrition to complement your gymming lifestyle, you just won't see a return in it, and that just defeats the entire purpose of it. Therefore, all of that is required for you to build a proper routine. And ultimately, that's what we should measure success as, a routine, or because that's what long-term is. And without long-term success, you will never be healthy. And maybe, just maybe, we require social interaction in our gymming routine in order for us to keep going. Maybe. Because at the end of the day, we are social creatures and we might need to include social aspects into our routines for it to work. In short, no discussion about gymming is complete without first acknowledging our means and abilities to gym.